No, absolutely not. No, they do not. As a matter of fact, Alex, uh, uh, I mentioned Reconnaissance. You, you folks need to uh, Google Reconnaissance, the name Reconnaissance. I'm going to spell his name for you. R-I-C-O-N-O-S-C-I-U-T-O. Michael <laughs> J. Reconnaissance. R-I-C-O-N-O-S-C-I-U-T-O. You Google Michael Reconnaissance, you're going to... You're going to find a tremendous amount of information about Michael. Now, Michael was set up, uh, and, and uh, he, he, he dared to testify against the U.S. Department of Justice in a criminal case and uh, on a congressional hearing, excuse me, the Brooks Committee back in the late, late 80s, and he was set up on a drug operation and sentenced to 30 years. Michael's in prison now for this alleged drug uh, allegation. But anyway, Michael, is, uh, his, his mistake was he testified against the government. And uh, so they went after him, they set him up, and what have you. Now, I, I visit Michael on a regular basis because Michael and I have done a lot of work together. As a matter of fact, we met uh, Osama bin Laden back in the spring of 1986, and we were responsible, Michael and I, for the surface air missiles. Folks, we've never had this happen, and maybe it's just Murphy's Law or something else, but right when he started talking about meeting with Osama bin Laden, and a State Department official back in 86, there was just all the power went crazy. Only in the studio, everything went dead. I don't know uh, how that happens. It was just going crazy, turning on and off. And uh, I've never seen anything like this. And so very, very bizarre. Ted, you got cut off there. Everything got wiped out. And this is the end of the show. We'll have to have you back about this. Specifically, Meeting with Osama bin Laden, what was that in relationship to, you said, getting surface-to-ground, uh, surface-to-air uh, surface missiles to the Mujahideen? Go ahead. Well, uh, I had a, back in uh, the spring of 86, I had a phone named Bill Sloan come to me. He was the former top administrator official with the Reagan administration. <laughs> and Bill said, can you help the Afghan rebels in their fight against the Soviets? And I, you know, I contacted Mike Reconnaissance, who I knew had been in the CIA for some 20 years. A scientist and uh, Mike and I met in a hotel room in Sherman Oaks, California, <clears throat> with uh, this uh, State Department official and a tall, skinny fellow who was driving under a Turkish passport. And his name was Jim Osman. That was the name he was using. I find out years later it was actually Osama bin Laden. And as a result of that meeting, <clears throat> Michael furnished the Afghan rebels the surface to air missiles that were able that he, we, we shot down that they used to shoot down the Soviet helicopters that won the war for them. So, you know, at that time, of course, the, uh, Osama bin Laden was our ally. And then I first up to learn that we furnished uh, the, uh, the the rebels, uh, Afghan rebels, the uh, $650 million a year for five years. So they used that money, of course, now to come back after us. So you're saying you were involved in the conduit with the government. Uh, and I've never known you to make stuff up, Ted. That's just That's just wild. That uh, Now, how did you know he was Osama bin Laden, uh, or did you find out later? I found out later. I didn't know it until I, until I, I found out years later. It was, uh, it was Osama bin Laden. It was, he was traveling on the Turkish passport, Tim Osman. Did not well, know it all. You know? Well, that's now been declassified that it was Tim Osman. And, yeah, he, he had a shaven face and everything else. I mean, did he speak good English, or what was he like? Yeah, he didn't speak much, but he, but he literally, you know, you could understand him. I didn't think much about it. I didn't realize it was Osama bin Laden. And uh, he was undercover. And, and and I talked to the State Department official years, you know, later, later on and, and tried to get him to make certain admissions. He said, just forget about me. I Leave me out of the picture. I don't want anything to do with it. You know, he was, he was afraid, which I'm not. But anyway, you know, that's, that's the story. On, and that's, Steve Michael developed these sources inside the Arab world through his, by furnishing these surface air missiles that defeated the Soviets. And so we had inside sources on this. We had inside information. Michael did about 911. Well, Ted Gunderson, I'm glad that you've beat cancer. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you again soon. An amazing interview. You know, he's the former special agent in charge of uh, Memphis, Dallas, and the Los Angeles Division. And he won Law Enforcement Officer of the Year uh, from the AFL-CIO. And uh, so much of what he said in hindsight has turned out to be true. Very, very scary stuff. Ted, God bless you. Thanks for spending time with us. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me on your show. God you bet. You. Take care. Folks, the broadcast is over, and uh, very strange. He starts talking about Osama bin Laden, and everything goes dead here before he went to the last break. That was, that was strange. But we'll just hope that it was just uh, Murphy's Law, just a coincidence. Sure it is. No big deal.
I'm going to try to figure out what happened now that the show's about to end. I'll be back live tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central, right here on the one, the only GCN radio network. The websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And it's live now at PrisonPlanet.tv. Not just Invisible Empire that we premiered last week, but now Police State 4, The Rise of FEMA is live for PrisonPlanet.tv members. If you're not a member, go there. 15 cents a day, $5.95 a month. Your purchase supports this radio broadcast. You sign up in about a minute and be watching the film right now. It is live in four different high-quality formats, or you can order the DVD in the highest quality at InfoWars.com. Great job, crew. See you back live tomorrow, God willing.